Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a first impressions and review video and today I'm going to be testing out and reviewing the new Collie Bible Palette, the Deluxe Edition from BH Cosmetics and it's my first time using it today so we're going to be doing my first impressions and review and tutorial and things like that. And I also picked up an extra one of these to give away to one of you guys as well so make sure you stay tuned later on in the video for that. So I really hope you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up if you do and if you want to see my my first impressions and tutorial using the new Collie Bible palette then keep watching. So this is what it looked like when it came out of the box and I absolutely love the packaging, I think it's stunning. It's definitely my kind of shades with the pearls and the white background and then it's got the rose gold writing on as well and it's also got all the details and everything on the back. This is also just the outer sleeve as well so I'll take that off in a minute. But I love that it comes in this as well because I'm a sucker for leaving everything in its packaging, especially eyeshadow palettes. I always leave them in their sleeves or the box that they come in. So before we get stuck in, open it up and try it out, I'm going to just give you a bit of the boring information first, which is how much I bought it for and where I bought it from because I was actually amazed at how amazing the price was for it. So I actually ordered mine in the pre-order on Carly's own website, which was I think the 4th of April and then the shipping was starting on the 20th around that time. And I got mine within like 10 days of that shipping date, which was amazing. And at that time, it was limited to two palettes per person. I'm not sure whether it is now, but of course I got two. And they were $19.50 each, and then the shipping was $9.95. So that came to a total of $48.95, which I thought was amazing for a palette with this many shades in as well. And I've heard so many nice things about the first one that came out. So I was really, really eager to get it. So what I really loved about this is in your confirmation email, you can track your order really, really easily. So all you have to do is click on the link and it takes you to your own personal order. So you don't have to type in any numbers or anything like you usually do. It just takes you straight to yours. So you can see the stages that it's been. So you've got a sort of idea of where it is and how long it'll probably take to get to you. I think that's sort of the boring stuff out of the way. My shopping experience was amazing. Delivery, really, really good. So I haven't really got anything bad to say about this service from the website or anything. So let's get in and open this box. So let's take off the outer sleeve and it's the same packaging on here on the front and on the back as well. So first impressions of the packaging, I absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty. It's got a really nice weight to it and it feels really sturdy as well. So let's open it up and have a look. It does come with a plastic thing for protection and then this is what it looks like inside. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to use it. It's all marble inside and then it's got Aspire to Inspire written under the mirror. I love that it's got a mirror as well because it makes it so nice to travel with. And these are all the shades inside. So there are 15 eyeshadows and six highlight shades, which of course you can use for eyeshadows as well. And it just looks absolutely stunning inside. I'm so excited to try it on. I'm quite fussy when it comes to buying eyeshadow palettes. So I'll only buy eyeshadow palettes, which I know I will use every single shade in. And these are like my perfect shades. They're absolutely beautiful. And I didn't have the original Collie by Bell palette, but it says on the back that there are 11 original shades and then 10 new eyeshadow and highlighters. So I'm sure that you could find out which ones are the original ones because I'm really not sure, so I wouldn't want to say. So on the top row is more of like the champagne-y tone, so you've got a couple of nice neutral browns and then warm champagnes and pinks. And then on the middle row is more of like your purples and mauves, and I don't really have many of them shades, which is why this palette sort of caught my eye. So I'm really looking forward to using that row. And then on the bottom is more of like the taupey shades, which are really pretty. And then you've got some sort of pinky champagne highlighters here, and then a group of like more bronzy and gold ones. So I'll try and leave some close-ups of the palette and swatches as well in this video. But I'll also swatch every single shade and then put that in a blog post as well for you, just so you can see a close-up of all the shades and the colour payoff and things like that. There is a really nice mix of mattes and shimmers as well. There's a couple that are sort of in between which are really nice. The shimmery ones to me are just the reason why I bought this palette because they just look so nice. But mattes of course are also really important to have as well. And there is a really nice mix of different tones. But I really just want to swatch a couple quick because I have already had a look inside. But I haven't actually touched any of them yet. So this is going to be my first time. I think this one really catches my eye. This like pinky shimmery one. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but it looks so pretty. And this dark bronze, they feel so, so creamy. 
one. And let's try to highlight one just quick. Where can I put this one? And that one's just there at the top. It looks so sparkly. It feels so buttery and soft. I'm so excited to try them on now. So I'm just gonna quickly switch up my lens just to bring you in a little bit closer so you can see. And yeah, let's try them on. Okay, so I'm trying to decide which ones to go for. I'm absolutely spoiled for choice. The shades in here really are that stunning. I think I'm gonna do like a browns and golds because I really wanna do some prom looks with this and then pinky shades, I think I'm gonna save for that. So I'm gonna start by using this one at the very top. And there is a little bit of fallout. But I always find with like the best quality eyeshadows, there's always a bit of fallout. So. I really don't mind that. I know some people do have a problem with fallout, but I honestly don't mind. So I'm just blending this one into my crease. The pigment in this one probably isn't as good as I was expecting, but it is still a really pretty shade. You've just got to layer this one up a little bit by the looks of it. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this middle one off the top row, and I'm doing exactly the same with this, just layering it up. This one's definitely a lot more pigmented. But it is blending really, really well. I'm going to go in with a bit of this purple now because that is really catching my eye. It's not completely matte but it doesn't look really shimmery. Again, that one is really pigmented as well. And I am actually really surprised at the quality and everything for the price of this palette because it is really inexpensive but the eyeshadows are coming out really really nice and there's such a nice variation of shades as well for everybody. For my lid I'm going to start off with using this one and usually with shimmers I would like to put a base down or I'd wet the brush first but I'm going to try them on their own because I really want to see how they look just by themselves so I'm just taking a flat brush and just putting this all over the lid. And these shimmery ones don't seem to have as much fallout as the mattes, which you would expect anyway, I think. And again, they are really soft and easy to blend out. And it's applying really nice as well. There's no fall down either with these, which is always a bonus. These top ones here, the shimmer shades, almost have a sort of duochrome finish. I'm going to try a little bit of this sort of champagne toned one now. I want to just try as many as I can, even though I'm just sort of layering them up now. I'm just putting this one in the very inner corner. Okay, so far I'm super impressed. They worked really, really well. I'm just gonna quickly apply my mascara and lashes and then I can come back to use the highlighters and do the under eyes as well. Okay, so moving on to the under eyes, I'm gonna use a bit of this one first and I've got a little pencil brush. I'm just gonna sweep this under me. These darker mattes are definitely a lot more pigmented than the lightest one that I used first. And then I'm going to mix in a bit of that purple as well. Putting this one just on the outer corner, I think. Okay, I think we need to use some of the highlighters now. So I'm first going to go in with this white one, which I'm really excited to use. I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bow. Whoa. That one is super pigmented. And I'm going to do the inner corners of the eyes with this one as well. It looks so pretty. Just going to quickly apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. And then to highlight my cheeks, I'm going to try out this one. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I love the highlighters so much, even though that's only a couple that I've used. It's so nice. I'm going to try a little bit of this one, just on the very tops of the cheeks. 
I think I'm ever going to have to buy a highlighter again. So overall, my first impressions of this palette, I absolutely love it and I'm so happy that I decided to get my hands on it. All the shadows work so well, there's such a nice range of shades, they were really buttery and creamy and blendable. The shimmery shades I think are my favourite because they were really pigmented and really shimmery. And the highlight as well, just look at that highlight. If I was going to be a little bit picky, I would say I would need a couple of more darker, more deeper tones just so I can create something a little bit more smoky, but other than that, I know I'm going to use every single eyeshadow in this palette, so yeah, stay tuned for a lot of tutorials using this palette. Moving on to the giveaway, of course, I picked up an extra one of these to give away to one of you guys, and I'm going to leave all the information that you're going to need for the giveaway down in the description bar below, so please make sure you go down and check that out. The giveaway will be open internationally, and all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, and then leave a comment in the comments below of what videos you'd like to see next on my channel and also leave your Instagram or Twitter handle down there as well. The giveaway is going to end on the 1st of June and a winner will be picked at random and I will contact you and let you know if you have won. I think that might be everything. If I have missed anything out it will be down in the description bar so make sure you go down there and check that out. So that completes this first impressions and review on the new Carly by Bell palette. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well if you did. And and I will see you soon. Bye!